Good morning. Welcome back to the book of Luke. We're coming to Jesus, but we're going to work our way through verse by verse. We're at Luke chapter 1, this morning, verses 5 through 7. So let's read it, then we'll think about it together. There was in the days of Herod, the king of Judea, a certain priest named Zacharias of the division of Abijah, and his wife was of the daughters of Aaron, and her name was Elizabeth. And they were both righteous before God, walking in all the commandments and ordinances of the Lord, blameless. But they had no child, because Elizabeth was barren, and they were both well advanced in years. They're going to have the baby, who's going to become John the Baptist. But what we have interesting here, I just we don't want to pass by some of this stuff here. Did you notice, what? how does the Bible describe these people? How does it describe them? And again, verse 6, and they, this is husband and wife, and they were both, wait for it, <laughs> they were both righteous before God. It says more than this. They were both righteous before God, walking in all the commandments and ordinances of the Lord, blameless. There's a, a dogma that, you know, basically we're born damaged, we're born, and which is I guess it's true, we are born damaged, but there's a dogma that we're born condemned or that we're born guilty, and that every even our best good works uh, cannot be righteous. They're all tainted by selfishness and all that. I want you to notice that here in the Bible that here are a couple of people who are identified right off the bat, boom, right here in the, in the New Testament, no less, as being righteous before God and blameless. This isn't just counted that way. This is who they were. This is, this is telling us their character. They were people who were right doing people. How can that be? Well, you know what? Although our, we are completely affected and impacted in different ways by sin, God has given us free will. And even though even our will is impacted by sin, the will of Jesus, the will of God, just like the rest of us, um, God, it's, it says that we're born, John 1 verse 12, we are, we are reborn when we are reborn, not by the will of man, but by the will of God. So God the Father, when he wills it, that is, if he wants us in the kingdom, and he does, he makes it very clear that he does, he can transform us, and our weak, uh, wobbling will can be connected to God's, God's will. And guess what? God's will is omnipotent. There's nothing that can stop God's will when God wills something. And so I believe that that these two, the, the husband and wife here, they were people who were in connection, close connection with the God of heaven, and that the Bible's not telling us a fairy tale right here off the bat in the gospel. It's telling us the truth. That they were righteous. They were blameless before God. These were people who were living uh, in, in God's will because they were in close connection with him. The wife will give birth to John the Baptist. So we'll talk about that some more tomorrow morning. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, Thank you that right here off the bat, even though we've bumped into something that sort of cuts against the grain of what a lot of people believe, thank you that through your grace and your strength, not through ours ever, but through your grace and strength, we may be truly righteous before you, truly blameless before you, because I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, and Lord, your power is not limited that people cannot do good. So, Lord, although we're not saved in any way ever by our own works or our own merits, we thank you that you will transform our hearts. May we be transformed people and walk in your kingdom. Thank you for hearing our prayer, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. So we're not saying these people uh, never messed up or never, never made a mistake. In fact, wait till tomorrow morning. But you know what? If our, we're totally surrendered to God, that's really the, the plan for salvation is what? Always the one condition that at any given point in time, at every point in time, simply that we are totally surrendered to God, and He will do a work in us that we could never do in ourselves. And so we're looking for that experience in Jesus. May God bless you today.